Hey, what's up guys, Gone Peefy here, and welcome to this Team of the Season Zardes review. Now this guy currently on PlayStation is extinct and really hard to get hold of, however on the Xbox I believe there are plenty on the market, so um, yeah, that's an interesting one. Anyway, as you can see, 600k paid for him, in 6 games he scored 8 times and got 0 assists, probably could have had a few more goals, but um, we'll talk about that very soon. The guy stands at 6 foot 2, 4 star, 4 star, and his stats for a silver card are pretty damn insane. 90 pace, 80 dribbling, 80 shooting, that is just ridiculous, and on top of that, 82 physical as well. Awesome looking card. So, going into the in-game attributes, some pretty impressive stats for a silver, 84 strength, very nice, 91 agility, pretty awesome, not the best balance, and his balance does let him down, I will bring that up later on in the video. Also, the ball control, not the best, but once again, you have got to remember he is a silver card, good finishing of 85, and in-game, he is pretty damn good at that, and the shot power in-game, his shot power is awesome, and from close range, this card is absolutely deadly. I do want to point out, in some games, this card feels absolutely rapid, in others, does feel a bit sluggish, but um, most of the time, does feel pretty damn good. I think that's down to his ball control, which does occasionally let him down. He's one of them players that sometimes you can be dribbling with him and he'll just leave the ball and run past it, which is a bit frustrating. But still, when he's on the ball inside the box, as I say, he makes up for it because he's pretty damn deadly. And he scored some weird goals. Like, some players wouldn't finish these opportunities, but Zardes did, and that was pretty damn impressive. At six foot two tall, the guy is quite a unit. In the game, he's very strong too, so not only can he beat defenders for pace, but he can also beat them for strength too. And with him being quite tall, he also can win a few headers. And his heading is very accurate and very powerful, and you can definitely get some goals that way if you need to. His passing isn't bad either, good for link-up play, gets him up the field and also, do I have to point out, his positioning is good too. Really good positioning, which makes it easy. Once he's in the box, he's going to put the ball in the back of net. As I say, finishing for a silver is absolutely awesome. Zadez for me was probably one of the more fun team season cards that I've used, just because he's a silver card and he just plays better than some gold strikers. I mean, look at this goal here, breaks away from the defence, decent touch and then he just runs round and puts the ball in the back of net. As I say, better than most gold strikers and uh, finishes better than a lot of gold strikers, so yeah. Very impressive from Zardes. Just before we summarise, I know I'm going to get asked this question. Is he better than Team Season Diabala? And for me, 100%. Zardes is the best silver Team Season striker in this year's Ultimate Team. Now, is he worth the coins? I'm going to say this. If you're a massive fan of silvers, yes, you need to pick him up and try him out because I think you'll like him. But if you're not too into silvers, then maybe give it a miss. Because one, if you're on PlayStation, you're going to have to snipe him, which is going to hurt your thumbs. And two, he's a lot of coins too. Anyway, guys. Overall, I'm going to give Team Season Zardes a 9.5 out of 10. If you love Silvers, this guy is a must-try. The only thing letting him down for me was the balance. Occasionally, his ball control too, but um, not too much of an issue overall. And as I said, I do like long shots in a striker. He didn't really have them, but um, once again, not too much of an issue overall. 9.5 for Zardes, awesome card, brilliant player, loved using him. Have a good day, guys. Adios.